What up boys, this is the Disc Shadowlands changes video and today I'm going to be just talking about all the changes to talent, spells, passives, everything that's happening right now uh, in Shadowlands compared to BFA and I will do a follow-up video to this one basically explaining on the implications of all these changes because if I do it all in one video it's going to be long, it's going to be boring, uh, you're going to hate it. So we're just going to do changes in this video and skip for it real quick just so that you can see kind of how much is really happening uh, and it's you know it's a fair bit it's a fair bit there's a lot of good changes um, it would be nice to see a couple more talent changes but so far it's looking pretty good disc is looking pretty good uh, so without further ado let's check out the spells so we have a total of five spells coming back uh, in Shadowlands, the first of which is a, well, to be honest, my favorite, Shadow of Death. This coming back is so, so, so good for Disc because what it means is we don't have to talent anymore. So if you don't know much about Shadow of Death, Shadow of Death is basically a damaging spell that returns damage to you like half a second later if it doesn't kill the target, which is most of the time. Uh, it also does more damage when they're under 20%, so it acts as an execute. 18 second cooldown, fairly cheap, uh, and hits pretty hard. 1.2k damage, and this is obviously going to scale up as we go through through the expansion. So this is this comeback is fantastic. Uh, we also have Mind Blast coming back, and it's a little bit different to before. This time it also puts on like a, an absorb, the way that kind of Smite does in BFA. Smite longer, no longer doing that in Shadowlands. Instead, that's on Mind Blast and it's got a cooldown and it's a bit more hefty. So instead of like a sort of passive damage reduction that Smite was providing, this is just going to be all in one hit. And this is actually doing more than a Power Word Shield in terms of Absorb. So it's pretty good uh, considering it's doing some damage as well. Damage is not that high, maybe 50% more than a Smite. So maybe that could get a little bit of love. But other than that, it's pretty good. Uh, obviously, giving Atonement healing as well. Then we got Mind Soothe coming back. Uh, if you don't know what Minesweep is, this was a long time ago when Minesweep got removed. Basically what you can do, you can use it on Humanoids or Dragonkins and it reduces the aggro range. Uh, so with Mythic Plus kind of being more and more popular, this is going to allow for skips in certain dungeons, I think. Which is going to be cool if you bring along a Priest. Uh, and potentially in Torghast as well. Like Torghast is looking like it's going to be a pretty big thing in the expansion. Uh, so Minesweep I think could actually be quite a big deal in there. Uh, Coupled with Fade, we'll talk about Fade a little bit more later, but there's there's some definite nice pack skips kind of possible with this. So happy to see that coming back. A little bit less impactful than Mind Blast and Death, but still a really good addition to our kit. Uh, we also have Mind Seer coming back. If I can ever find it. Uh, there it is. And this is just another AoE, really. Uh, we have Holy Nova as well, obviously, but Mind Seer is obviously a ranged AoE, so this is going to kind of give us a little bit less uh, kind of positioning component requirement. Uh, you can stand back, it's a 40 yard range. Uh, and also get people out of stealth with it. I won't go into too much more into detail, but yeah, it's it's you put it on a target and if you know what Mindset does for Shadow, you, you put it on a target, it's like a Mind Flare uh, and it AoEs everything around that target. 300 mana per second, so it's, it's not too expensive either. Uh, and lasts four seconds. And then finally, we have and this one, probably my second favorite after Shadow of Death, we got Power Infusion. And this is like class identity coming back. Like we had it as a talent, but we couldn't take it for a while. And yeah, it's it's back. It's off global. You can use it on anyone. Uh, so, so happy about Power Infusion coming back. This is going to be so much fun to use, uh, giving us a bit of utility back again. And, and obviously, as it's hasted, it's increasing. This is going to be useful, you know, on anyone whether it be melee or casters. It used to just be cast speed, I believe. So yeah, it's, it's haste now. So you can literally just drop this on it on whoever you want and it's going to be useful for them. Uh, so yeah, fantastic spell to be coming back and, and going to be really kind of bolstering our utility as disc in, in all aspects of the game. So really happy about that. Uh, then we've got spell changes. Okay, we've got a few, few spell changes coming in that are actually are quite a big deal. First one is Focused Will is now stacking two times again. Uh, for disc, which is actually a big deal, uh, gonna buff our survivability against melee a lot in PvP. Uh, I'll talk about it more in the next video, but yeah, this is this is a big deal. Uh, don't don't overlook that one. 
a little bit smaller one. We got Fortitude Nerf, actually. Not too sure about why kind of they're, they're messing with this. It's gone down from 10% to 5%. Don't think it's going to change anyone uh, anything. You, you're going to buff it all the time anyway in PvE, right? So, yeah, it's, it's basically halved. I'm not sure why. I guess they nerfed all the buffs or something. Uh, a little bit of a weird one. Uh, but then back to Fade. We've got a little bit of an extra component on Fade coming in now. And it's the Aggro Radius. Uh, so not only do you drop Aggro when you press Fade. But you also reduce the radius that mobs can aggro onto you. So this is going to allow you to skip a lot more uh, stuff in general. Sneak by stuff. Uh, in Torghast and, and Mythic Plus I think mainly. Uh, I think that's such actually a cool component to the spell that could have been in the game so long ago and I just kind of never was a thing but I think it's actually such an interesting mechanic uh, that they're adding to it uh, so really interested to see what kind of stuff you can do with this um, haven't really tested out yet obviously because I've just been PvPing on beta but if you go do some Torghast on Mythic Plus I reckon there's some really cool stuff you could do with that uh, we've got two more changes we've got Holy Nova this is quite a, kind of a small one but I think it will actually be quite a decent buff basically it's, basically it's a buff to holy nova um when you are hitting three or more enemies and what it does is it just launches a second nova if you hit three or more enemies for 50 percent of the effectiveness so it is straight up just a 50 percent buff in damage and healing um no harm done there i think maybe it's not enough to make it really you know insanely useful but we'll have to see have to see how it pans out I think it's it's not going to be the kind of thing where you just like run in and start trying to AOE things down, but it might be useful out in the world. Uh, after dotting everything up, we'll have to wait and see. Needs needs some testing, and then the last one is pretty big, pretty big deal on the last one, and and they've done this with a few spells, but what they've what they've looked to do on Rapture here is they want to bring some power to the actual button push. So what they've done is they've made it actually shield the target or your target when you press Rapture. Uh, obviously before we had to wait the global and then we could rapture shield so it felt a little bit lackluster to use initially because you have to wait 1.5 seconds to see any benefit from it that is now kind of gone because you, you know you get that initial shield when you press it as well and that's a rapture shield so it'll be big and that is going to be immensely useful and i think in in any high pressure sort of situations pvp pve whatever uh Obviously, when it's a high-pressure situation, 1.5 seconds is a long time, so this is a big deal. I'm really happy about this change. This essentially takes Rapture off the global, which is what we were looking for for the whole of BFA. Um, and they've done this, this with a few spells now that were kind of lacking in terms of power on the initial button push. So Rapture is joining those now, which is which is fantastic. Uh, then on to talent change. We've got, we've got a few talent changes. Not as many as I'd like, but there's a couple. Uh, the first of which is Shadow Covenant. Uh, which has probably been changed like four times or something right now. And every expansion, I think this this talent changes, and Blizzard just like not happy with it. It doesn't get that much use. And I feel like they really want this to be like the go-to Mythic Plus talent uh, to deal with certain affixes and whatnot, but it just doesn't seem to hold up, uh, whether it be the numbers or the, the, t the utility or just the way that the, the talent works is just not good enough. So they've changed it up a fair bit, this expansion, and now it's... Uh, not only healing everyone, or rather, four other players in the group and the target, so five, uh, for for 2k. So, essentially like an instant radiance. Doesn't apply atonement, but it's not providing the damage absorb. Oh, sorry, sorry, the healing absorb that it did on uh, in BFA. This is kind of a big deal, because it makes it a lot more valuable just from a numbers point of view. On top of that, for the next 9 seconds, your shadow spells are going to do 25% more. Uh, which means you're obviously going to do more atonement healing. So couple this with Schism and Mind Blast, you're going to have some really big potential uh, burst AoE healing on demand. The only downside of this is that when you're doing this, you can't cast Holy Spells. But the buff is removable. So... If you really do need to get a holy spell in there, you can cancel it and then drop a penance into into solace. Whether or not they they change that remains to be seen. Uh, but I think that this is definitely the best version of Shadow Covenant they've done. So I'm really looking forward to testing it out, especially in Mythic Plus. But I think actually this could have applications in PvP as well. I think this actually could be good in certain situations 
uh, against Sunset Up. So yeah, really looking forward to testing that out. I'll, I'll go into more detail of it in the next video, but yeah, about Shadow Covenant. And then finally on the talent tree, we've got Spirit Shell. So Spirit Shell's coming back and it's slightly different this time. Uh, it doesn't work on your Shadow Mend, interestingly. Uh, but it does work on your atonement. So all of your atonement healing is now gonna, when you pop this, provide a shield. So potentially on like, you know, 15 players in a raid or whatever. Uh, so you have the uh, the potential to stack up really big shields really easily on a lot of people. Uh, how, it does, however, replace Rapture. So you will have a slightly different ramp with it. Uh, whether or not this is usable in pvp in arena it remains to be seen i think this is going to be better for larger group com content but it's gonna gonna take some testing maybe it's good against some stuff we'll have to see uh and the last changes obviously are the pvp talents now we have a really really nice new talent coming in uh called thought steel and what this does is you use it on an enemy and it has to be used on a mana user uh, and depending on which class you use on it, steals a different spell. So if you're if you use it against a warlock, you steal fear. If you use it against a mage, you steal polymorph. Uh, paladins, you get freedom. Monks, you get renewing mist, I believe. Uh, druids is rejuve, and then priests is penance and renew, depending on if it's disc and holy. And VT for shadow. Uh, and I think that's all of them. Uh, but it's always a set spell and it, always, it lasts 20 seconds. So they can't use it for 20 seconds. And then you can use that spell for 20 seconds, which I think is absolutely insane. This is like so much cool stuff uh, that you can potentially do with this. Like, I can't wait to use it. Uh, this is going to be, this is going to, honestly, this is almost going to change the way that disc is played. I swear, it's, it's going to be so cool to use. Uh, and then the other change uh, was to... Let me see. Premonition. Premonition is gone. That's why I can't find it here. Uh, obviously, because we have Shadow of Death coming back, Premonition no really no, no longer has a use. So, the Premonition was 12 second cooldown. Shadow of Death is 18 second cooldown. I don't think this is going to have that much impact, but I will talk about this again in the other video. Uh, but yeah, Premonition is no longer on the PvP talents. Uh, and the, obviously, the as you can see, the PvP trinkets are no longer no longer here this is no longer an option it's now obtained as again a trinket which is why incidentally it was called trinket for so long uh it is a trinket again so you can get all three forms uh and what this essentially will do is mean that you pretty much can only use one other trinket unless in certain situations some classes wouldn't use one but i can't really think of that a situation where that would happen uh but yeah, so everyone's everyone's down to one trinket now. Uh, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it right now for disc. Uh, hopefully we will get some more, I guess, talent tree changes. That's what we're looking for right now. And if that does happen, then I will make another follow up video, just kind of updating you guys. Uh, if uh, until then, if you guys have any kind of wonderings questions whatever chuck it in the comments if you think i missed anything chuck it in the comments if you want me to address any certain aspects of shadowlands uh, that you really don't you are not sure about you wondering how that's gonna affect us or what we're gonna do or you know just want to learn a little bit more about it please do let me know i will be doing my best to do decent shadowlands coverage over the next you know couple of weeks until we're uh, entering into the expansion so thank you very much